Yo, what is going on guys, Saturday Sox here, welcome back to the channel, welcome to the channel if you're new. Today we actually have a ton of stuff to talk about, but it is going to be an extremely informational video. All I ask you to do is stay till the end of the video, because I did some digging so you guys didn't have to. So after researching, editing, recording, and uploading these for you guys, all I ask in return is for the like and the subscribe button. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so first things first, I'm actually very surprised the S&P 500 is holding up around this $400 level. It's looking decent to say the least. Do I buy it? Absolutely not. I still think that, you know, the entire market it has to find the bottom going forward and to breeze through the charts really quick let me know if you guys see this glitch on amc of it dropping to two cents i noticed a lot of people talking about it and then i pulled it up on my own chart on trading view and i actually saw it sitting right there and this is very sketchy and we're going to talk about that first off if you've been keeping up with the channel you know what we have been tracking on the channel and we have the two run-ups from one back in January here in pink, and then the one right before the run up in June. And you can see they both play out the same exact way with a little bit of tweaks here and there. Either way, they both have the peaks on them before getting a little bit of side selling. And you saw the same thing right here. So what we're tracking is still accurate. You might be asking, is it still valid? Because you know, it broke sideways over these trend lines. If you, one thing you notice about the other two times it had the same run, it did the same exact thing. It broke out and traded sideways and both of these are set up right before that major rally you see the same thing happen right here still traded sideways right out of this channel i think it's still completely validated uh, not only that they both had these little gaps in the charts right here and right here and amc had the same exact gap there's everything set up that there could possibly be set up with amc however there are some important things to talk about and we're going to touch on that right now right after we get into the ortex numbers 21.83 percent short interest on AMC utilization still maxed out cost of borrow still over 250% so anybody borrowing against the stock is paying more than double their position there's absolutely no reason to do so unless you're trapped 5.56% short interest on ape with an 84% utilization and finally cost of borrow sitting around 8% we did see ape holding up pretty decently well uh, considering how the market and other stocks are doing as well now there's a couple things I wanted to get into before you know we move on uh, it's sticker symbol BTB I explained this play on the channel I jumped into this play and so far it's doing all right right it's down 10% today however yesterday it was up 25% I still think BTB is a play I'm still in my position I'm watching three dollars as a resistance level if we have a clean break over that I, I don't see a problem with BTB running up to about five dollars if you guys didn't see my BTB video make sure to go watch that so you know why I'm actually jumped in this play or you can just come ask me in the discord make sure to join the discord according to AMC on stock tracker there's no shares available to borrow we are now losing on the options chain 11,000 calls to 31,000 puts short exempts died down a little bit but the short percentage got even higher so definitely don't be fooled there according to GameStop 1.1 million shares available to borrow at a most recent fee of 19.8 percent options chain sitting somewhat tied with each other and as for GameStop it's playing out more perfectly than anticipated with the cycle that happened back in January we're literally sitting right around here with the cycle with that being said consolidate maybe the first week week and a half into February before before getting another initial pop to the upside. We will see how that goes. Now, there's a lot of stuff going on. We know the NYSE had these bunch of halts. I posted a video on it. However, there's this two cent glitch within the charts on AMC. AMC dropping to two cents for a split second. Not only that, but the order book being wiped out for buy orders and only pushing sell orders through. Huge, huge, huge sell orders. 27,000 single shares and sell orders, so on and so forth, all the way up to 8,600. Which leads me to think that, you know, the algorithms are ready for the stock to skyrocket. Right, but exactly what happened in January when the buy button was taken away, you're seeing happen now, except it's not being showed, you know, to the public saying you can't buy. They're just doing it in a different way. It's crime, it's horrible. And does this mean AMC would have flown to, you know, triple digits, quadruple digits? It probably it honestly probably does. There's a there's a great chance there that it does. Now, earlier it was pointed out that while BlackRock owns many, it was another company that owns nearly all the 251 stocks halted, all spring global invest. Wells Fargo rebranded to All Spring Funds in June 2021. Was this a Wells Fargo fund that was margin called today? You guys let me know in the comments what you think about that. Following that up, remember I showed you the clip from the NYSE of the guy saying, you know, we don't really know what caused this right now. We can speculate that this happened. However, this is a very rare occurrence. He didn't say this is a one-time occurrence. He said it's a very rare occurrence. Now you can see that these glitches happened also in 2008. October 14th, 2008, trading on the 
London Stock Exchange ground to a halt today after a technical glitch froze the market. You see these mass glitches across the board, August 7, 2008, so on and so forth. Not only that, but the glitch that caused the halt the other day, apparently the NYSE is saying short selling restrictions is responsible for the glitch. The New York Stock Exchange said it had figured out why trading on some stocks had to be briefly paused on Tuesday. In a statement on its website Wednesday, the NYSE said that a short sell restriction, SSR, was erroneously triggered for some listings. But this wouldn't essentially make sense for one way or the other, especially seeing that buy orders were completely washed away. Now we need to jump into Bed Bath & Beyond real quick because a lot of people are talking about this Form 4 filing that came out. There's no shares available to borrow according to Stock Tracker, most recent fee of 182%. Calls to puts 22,000 to 36,000. Short exempts still very, very high. They, they pressed Bed Bath & Beyond down. We're now losing on the options chain. Percentage to borrow stock is now even lower. Bed Bath & Beyond across the board technically isn't looking good. But for some reason, a lot of people are saying this Form 4 is very, very good news. And if you can explain that in the comments down below, I would love to have it. But I'm just looking at it from what the form says, right? The insiders trading in the company, you come down here, you can see that 42,041 shares. And you can see this with all of them. They all have the same amount of shares and the same filing across the board. There's three of them right here. Now you can see securities acquired A or disposed of D. And you can see that this is a form D. They disposed of these shares. They did not acquire these shares. Now, if you come down here, 42,041 restricted stock awards that were canceled in exchange for cash payment. You can see this all across the board. They're all the same. They're all the same. Now, RSUs are worth very slightly more than straight cash compensation due to the optionality. Your compensation will go up and down as the underlying stock moves, and you are allowed to switch jobs when the stock price moves downwards. If my company declares bankruptcy. Do I have any special rights in my restricted stock or RSUs? While restricted stock or RSUs still have the value, even when a company's stock price is lower than the grant price, stock options would be underwater. Any type of equity grant can be worthless if a company goes bankrupt. Now, you tell me why they would let shares go uh, in exchange for cash, right? The only reason they would do that is because they assume the stock would drop further or at least has a very high risk of bankruptcy. Otherwise, this would not be the case. Now, this is just the way I'm looking at it, the way the filing says, and the way that, you know, the restricted stock is exchanged for cash. You guys let me know down below. However, I do still hold my calls on Bed Bath & Beyond. I don't think it's a fundamental play. I think it's a short squeeze play. I'm still in my calls until they become worthless. That is just something I'm disclosing to you. I also still own BTB and AMC calls right now. Now, another play I want you to put on your radar we've been talking about is ticker symbol MULN. I have not taken a position yet. However, Mullen stock struggles ahead of proposal. This was just passed. Shareholders voted to increase authorized common stock to $5 billion today. So more dilution coming into Mullen. Now, normally that's not too good, but you have seen a lot of stocks actually have a short squeeze and actually have real shares put onto the market so shorts can cover their position uh, amongst dilution. So you could see a, a flash crash to the downside uh, for dilution in Mullen, but it also could be a nasty dip buy to get into, which is something I'm watching going forward. Also, Tesla has earnings today right after the market closes, so be aware of Tesla. We know that their revenue has been dropping year over year and that they just had to cut prices of cars due to demand dropping. However, that was a master play and it did work out across the board for them, but did it work out in time to actually affect the earnings? You guys let me know if you're playing Tesla earnings. Now, US targets 08 crisis trader conflicts in new rule a decade after first try. Wall Street's top regulator on, on Wednesday voted to propose a rule bearing traders and asset-backed securities from betting against the very assets they sell to investors, right? Okay, you might scroll through this article and I'll leave it linked down below and you might say, this is actually pretty good, right? You know, they might do something. You come down here and you're going to find that, you know, Chair Gensler acknowledged this was a unfinished step in post-crisis reform. The proposal is now subject to public comment period for at least 60 days. Oh, well, what's next? SEC officials say it would provide exceptions for legitimate activities such as hedging to mitigate risk, market making, and meeting liquidity commitments. The corruption never stops. They're never in favor for retail. They will never say we're going to do this right and even if it even if it uh, impacts the bigger players because they can't they don't have the power the SEC is weak Gary Gensler is a bitch 
and this is just, it is what it is. Speaking of that, there is that peaceful protest on the 27th outside the SEC headquarters. Google has cut 1,800 employees in California, including 27 massage therapists. Why they have that, I'm not really sure. The Bank of Canada says the federal government is working on legislative changes that will allow the central bank to tempor temporarily retain profits to cover losses. They own zero gold. Zero. Following that up, gold prices hit a record high in Japan. And also touching on the Canada news, Canada actually raised rates what was expected and they came out and said that, you know, we're not afraid to raise them even higher than the goal that we anticipated. Overall guys, that's what I got for you. Make sure to join the Discord down below before clicking off of the video and subscribe to the channel and also get 15 free stocks by using my link, downloading Moomoo. It takes two minutes to do so. Once you open an account on your phone or computer and deposit any amount, you're going to start receiving free stocks from them. Plus your money's FDIC insured and a ton of other benefits you will get guys it is free money takes two minutes out of your day hopefully you enjoyed the video or found value out of the video love you all lottery stocks out